Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. It says, Peter bought a laptop in the IT show at 20% off. If the usual price of the laptop is $1,200, what is the price of the laptop after discount? And how much discount did Peter get on the laptop? So there are two questions. A, what the price of the laptop is after discount and B, how much discount Peter got on the laptop. So let's uh, make a model diagram to understand things. Let's say this is the model that represents the usual price of the laptop. Okay, so if this is the usual price of the laptop, let's call it laptop. Okay, then this entire thing must be equal to $1,000. $200, right? Because that's the usual price of the laptop. So $1,200 is the usual price of the laptop. And what we do know is Peter got 20% off on the laptop. So if we draw also a percentage scale on top of this, above this uh, model diagram, then what this is telling you is that if you start at 0%, this is 0%, then this must be the last point which is equal to 100%. So $1,200 or $1,200 is equal to 100%. And Peter got a discount of 20% off. So if this is 20%, this is 20% mark, then over here, this is how much discount Peter got, the blue part over here. And this pink guy over here is how much amount he paid for the laptop, the amount of money that he paid, the price that he paid for the laptop. The price of the laptop, this is pink price after discount. Okay, this is price after discount. And this is what question number A is. So this is what you have to find as question A. And this guy over here, the blue part is the discount that he got, right? And this is what is question B, right? How much discount did Peter get on the laptop? So two things we have to find out. One is how much discount he got and second, the price after the discount. How about first we find out how much discount he got. So he got 20% discount. Now there are a few methods to find out what uh, this 20% is equal to in dollars. So one is we know that he got 20% off. So 20% off means he got 20% of $1,200 as the discount. Now, 20% of $1,200, how do you calculate that? Well, 20%, let's call this method number one. 20% we know is equal to the fraction 20 upon 100. And 20 upon 100 of 1,200 means 20 upon 100 times $1,200. All you do now is you simplify this statement. Well, you simply cancel out the zeros, two zeros from here and two zeros from here. And what you get is you get 20 times $12 and 20 times $12 is equal to $240. So the discount that you got was equal to $240. So the answer to question B is $240. Now let me show you one more method. Okay, let's call it method number two. Well, what we know is 100% is equal to $1,200, right? We saw here that from here to here is 100% and from here to here is $1,200. So 100% is equal to $1,200. Then what is 1% equal to? Well, 1% is nothing but $1,200 divided by 100, right? This 100 over here. And that's equal to the two zeros get cancelled out and what you get is you get $12. So 1% is equal to $12. So if 1% is equal to $12, then how much is 20% equal to? 20% well, is equal to $12 times 20 and that's equal to $240, which is the same answer that we got using method number one. Now, if you don't want to do any calculations and if you have a calculator at hand, then simply punch in 20% times $1,200 and you will still get the same answer, which is $240. All right. So what we have is we have the answer to question B, which is equal to $240. Now, what is the answer to question A? Well, if the discount is B dollars, how much is the price after discount that you paid for the laptop? Well, the price after discount is equal to nothing but $1,200. Okay, this is B, $1,200 minus $240.
the usual price was twelve hundred dollars and he got a discount of two hundred forty dollars then obviously he paid twelve hundred minus two hundred forty dollars and that's equal to nine hundred and sixty dollars so he paid a price of nine hundred and sixty dollars after discount for the laptop well that's method number one another method would be to use percentage actually let's uh, get rid of all this let me clear some space here let's use the percentage method well, if he got a discount of 20%, then how much percentage of the usual price did he pay? Well, he paid 100% minus 20%, right? So what he paid was equal to 80% of the usual price, right? 80% of the UP or the usual price, 80% of UP. And what is the UP? Well, 80% of UP means 80% of $1,200. Now, 80% of $1,200 is 80 upon 100 times $1,200. And all you do now is you simply simplify it. And what you get is 12 times 80 and 12 times 80 is equal to $960, which is the same as this $960, which we got using the first method. So no matter what method you use, you still get the discount as $240 and the price after discount on the laptop as $960. So this guy over here is equal to $960. All right, that brings us to the end of this word problem. I hope you've understood what I've taught and I hope that now you'll go and practice some so you get perfect. As usual, visit www.homecampus.com.sg for some practice problems. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.